All right, here we are playing Enderall for the first time. Asterisk, because you know I played the beta originally, but here we are playing Enderall Forgotten Stories with the new added DLC with a bunch of new quests, uh, a hidden ending, and a bunch of other stuff, including uh, new classes and even werewolves. So let's get this. Let's get to it. So we're going to start with the uh, Explore Enderall. Of course we are, because that's why we're here. So we enter. You can cure disease at priests in the temples and chapels. Cure your disease. It's not like where you go to uh, Skyrim and you can just like pray at an altar. You have to actually pay, I believe, to uh, get your disease cured. I have to talk with Daddy. He wants to tell me something important. Alright, so... Where am I? I'm on a... Carriage of some sort. Frame rate's pretty good today. Oh, it's dropping now. God, that's beautiful. Alright. There's a horse there. Two horses. The nourishment of meat. Meat is life. Even the ash people who were po well, even the ash people who were populated in this world before us knew that. Each time they killed an enemy in a battle, they tore out the liver and heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beaten enemy is passed on. But as we are living in a time in which eating fellows is nonsensically seen as barbaric. We, the friends of the bloody meat, have settled for animal sources. Okay, so cannibalism was a thing. Let's keep going. Can I run? Yes, I can sprint. Another book of nourishment of meat. Is that a quail? can't zoom out on my character. There's a ominous thing there. What is over here? I've never actually see what's over here. New. Oh Lord, oh Maker, I can hear you calling. I feel your love. I know about your sacrifice. Without you, I am nothing. A twig on the curtains of time. A sheep without a shepherd. Free me from my vices and forgive me my trespasses. Forgive to my wife and my child. Deliver me from my pains and bless me us with your everlasting mercy. Sounds biblical. Okay. All right. That's stuttering. There we go. Oh, there he is. And there's blood there. Use this? No, it won't let me. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? What is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? Uh, no. Oh? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? Oh, oh well, who knows? Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The Creator was kind to us today and sent a big fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? His eyes look very bloodshot. All right. Get going. All right, there's stuff here. 
There's tomatoes. There's leek. I'm raiding this place. that urn. Uh, all right. Forbidden door. Taking this bucket too because I just want to. Oh, hello. That's useful. Another book. Who doesn't know that? You are looking toward a nice crispy piece of meat after a hard day of work, but you're a useless child. You instructed to cook it, giving your charge something instead. You castigate them, but the problem stays the same. You are hungry, which means that there is no other way to it than doing it yourself. Walk to the fireplace, cut out a big bloody chunk of the animal, and throw it in the kettle. And lo and behold, slowly the pleasant smell of the burned life reaches your nostrils. Is there anything better than that? I don't think so. Okay. Odd. Recar's door, open doors, trap door. Door. That is creepy. Read dad's every meat pies. Two pounds of minced meat, one jar of flour, handful of bruised garlic, handful of ground whisper wheat, half a jar of meat broth, a pinch of sugar. Taking that garlic. Alright, here we are. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? Okay, but where are my mother and sister? What? Now when you look at that, I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, uh... Oh, that's all I got. Okay, so... I'm gonna choose the middle one. Oh, silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And, oh gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. Whoa, wait, wait, so... Yeah. Oh, by the Creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? Wait, us? <sighs> you know, sometimes I wish the Creator would have... Just a little less merciful. Can't move. Just a little less pious. Because then I, can't move. I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead Oh god, I can't move. I can't move. You hear me? The I'm on fire, and I can't move. Forget. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat, you 
Oh god, oh god. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat! 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 Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I don't think so. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years they had reigned over this world seven arcanists who through their magic had acquired eternal life in a time of chaos they gave mankind what they thought it needed most to be ruled over with an iron clad fair hand within just one century they united the shattered lands and a single century later their human origin was forgotten they became gods or Lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the Lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today, shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. But all of this was merely a diversion so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. Dream, maybe. Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? Gee, you think? Uh huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and. Well, not like this. Like the starship better Some things never change, I guess. Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean. Sure, why the hell not? Actually, let me see what the options are. Uh, blame myself. What makes you think that? I don't know, maybe, but even if I do, what difference does it make? Nonsense, those bastards from the temple killed them, not me, and I know that. Second option. None. You're right. But, who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Um... Not our fault for that ship is horribly guarded. We couldn't have afforded the passage for you anyway. Me too, but we're going to pay our debt as soon as we earn some money over there. We're talking about 500 pennies here. Even if we're able to find a job over there, we will still need the money for ourselves. Don't fool yourself. 
What we're doing here is theft. Unfortunately. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. All right, character creation. So here we are. We got the half Kalian, the half Ezreelian, half Eterna, and half Korani. Kor I, I can't even pronounce that one. So let's see. Um, this is basically the uh, you know the uh, the black eyes from Skyrim. What do they call those? Uh, Red Guard, Red Guard. So these are the Red Guards. Basically, uh... These... Let's see the description of these. I'm guessing these are like... The Imperials, maybe? I'm guessing these are like the Nords? And these obviously are like the High Elves, so that one is obvious, so... Hmm. Yeah, this one definitely is North-like. Imperial, Nord, Red Guard, and High Elf, so I only get four races, so I'm gonna definitely go with the... Azraelian. Okay, gender, gonna keep that male. Presets, let's look at the presets. Uh, um, okay, head, complexion. God, this music's really good, by the way. Jesus. Why is that even an option? All right. Ah, right. uh, clean face, clean face. Okay. Scars. Do I want him to have a backstory where he even needs scars? Probably not. Tattoos. Don't need tattoos. Okay, right, let's fix that face up. Nose. Uh, I like that one. Um, but I want a little lower. There we go. All right, nose. All right, uh, jaw. I'm not gonna make too much time with this. Okay, so let's just go to eyes now. Oh, eyes. That one's nice. I'm gonna pick that one probably. Actually, that one's nice too. Let's go with that. Eye color. God, everyone's so bloodshot. That's nice. Eye height. Um, eyeliner. Ah, uh, a little bit of eyeliner. It's not bad. Eye tint. Yeah, let's keep that back. Brows, let's see the brows. I like that one. Yeah, I'll keep that. Brow width. Go a little closer, brow forward. That's nice. Okay, mouth. That one. Actually, I want it a little lower. No, 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 higher. Ah! This is the problem with carriage creations and like these kind of games. Go hair. Definitely gonna change the hair. Um. That's not bad, beard. Why I'm getting like an Owen Wilson vibe from this guy? I don't know. All right, so God, a 
lot of beard options. That's not bad. That looks really cool. That's definitely cool looking. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Great, now he looks like Alan Rickman. Okay. Finish and name your character. Um Alan. Because he looks like freaking Alan Rickman. Here we go. Arazio. Right, how could I have forgotten? She was one of the few free people who ever set foot on a ship. <sighs> anyway. Whew, I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? No. Shit. Someone's coming. Women nowadays just don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. I tell you. Sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt, nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of that chit chat. Now, where did I put that key? Oh, blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Here go. Now, quiet. Ah, here we go. Ah, it smells like Vartier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. Oh, shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! Whoa, I can barely see you. Come on, dodge! You can do it! Let's kill them. It's safer that way. Oh, no way. Maybe we should turn ourselves in. Let's tie them up, gag them, and we can arrive and uh, sneak out. Yes, festival. yes, of course. That that makes sense. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on, help me search. There must be a rope or something. And I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. It just can't ever be easy, can it? Probabilities have turned against you. What the? Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. As are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you. For your intentions were not evil. And I believe you, but sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. The way it has been for eons. I am sorry. Whoa. Oh no, no! What are you doing, please? Please don't leave! We just wanted to. Oh. Ow. Prologue. A new life. After we had left Ostian, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. 
Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance? Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But, Captain, they... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in Narim. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. No, 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 please don't. No, I... Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. Um, nope, I'm Tie still asleep. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. Oh no. Ow. Like stealth stuff, bad 
magic, right? I'll pick this one. Interesting. This is the map. Let's see. Alright, so that's the beginning to end it all. As you can see. I guess I'll just take a break from this for now, but that's the intro.